This video will be going over how to add and remove expansion modules with the GC Configurator software. First, create a new file, select your GC controller, and select Unit Settings. Here, you can add any expansion module that you need that is compatible with the GC controller. I'm going to be adding a GC S1R relay module and an M12 5 pin remote I.O. block module. Then you can give your file a simple name so you don't lose it later on. And then we can continue into the program. Now that our file is created, you can see our system in the top right hand side of the configuration settings screen. Click Unit Settings to go back into that main menu that we saw at the beginning of our file creation. Here you can delete modules, add new modules, or adjust the orientation of the existing modules. Now onto our program, I'm going to be adding a non-contact GS interlock unit connected to the terminal block. Here I'm going into the detailed settings and selecting our GS10 series non-contact interlock. Notice how when I select the terminal assignment, the main controller is highlighted indicating we're using the terminal block. I'll drag in my GLR light curtains and the connection will be the remote 5 pin module. When I assign the terminal, you'll notice that that module is highlighted here. We'll select OK. I can now drag in my relay output module and when I assign that terminal, you'll notice that that relay module is highlighted. We'll select OK here. And now we can start building our program. Similar to the rest of the videos, we're going to automatically add our input output devices to the program. I'm going to drag an AND block in here, drag the output of my GS interlock to the input of that AND block, and do the same for my GLR light curtain. Finally, drag the output of the AND block to our safety output. We can take a look at the simulation just to make sure everything runs all right and we have no errors. Looks good. Make sure to terminate the simulation and transfer everything to your GC controller. If you have any follow-up questions, please reach out to your local Keyens product specialist. Otherwise, give our main line a call, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.